Botscopy, Botscopy, Nicolas Venance, Botscopy, a show by Yachting Art Magazine. Hello everybody and welcome to Boatscopy, a Boatscopy live from the Karls on Boat Show in Sweden. A Boatscopy dedicated to a world premiere, the first walkthrough and presentation of the brand new Okalbu Bay 25 cabin. And for this private walkthrough, let's see Michael Wax, uh, sales director at, uh, at Okalbu. Michael, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Nicholas. Nice to see you. Thank you very much, Michael. Behind you, uh, uh, the latest model, the new flagship of the Okalbu uh, range, the uh, Okalbu B25 cabin. Uh, four years ago, you entered the uh, pilot house market with uh, her sister, small sister, the 21. Yes, that's true. That's true. And now we are getting uh, this one, uh, B25, uh, because a uh, lot of people are asking for a bigger one, and now we launch it. Uh, so, d what is the DNA of this boat? Is it a family boat, sporty boat, adventure boat? I, I will say it's more like an adventure family uh, uh, transporter. Uh, introducing and preparing this uh, report, you told me uh, this this model is like a jeep. It's like a jeep, yeah. That's uh, the customer who, who like the Jeep uh, and uh, want uh, uh, kayak or bicycle on the, on the roof. We could have it on this boat. We'll discover that. Who is uh, the designer and another architect of this uh, new B25 uh, cabin? Uh, it's a Finnish company called R2 uh, who uh, build this or, or make this design for it. Uh. Next to the B25, her uh, sister B21, it's interesting to compare these two models. What is surprising when we discover the layout of the boat is the fact you have a, a full beam uh, uh, center cabin. Yeah. Uh, if you look at the both of the bo B21 and B25, in, in the first, when you look in them, you look uh, almost uh, like the same one. But when you go inside B25, you're going to see this space inside. Uh, uh, and that's uh, what, uh, what's very uh, uh, interesting when you go inside it. About the layout, you have a very big, we will discover that, a very big forward cockpit center cabin and very small uh, rear cockpit. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, we want uh, a big inside. That's what's very important because uh, this uh, boat is uh, uh, could have eight person. And that's more, more important though, that everybody could be inside. You know, it's Swedish weather or the northern weather. It's uh, sometimes rainy and or sometimes snowy. But we have some sunny times too. A few features about uh, the boat. We will discover these features now, right now. 790 meters. 255 is the wide on the boat. And uh, and person is eight person, not six person. And uh, then we have the weight. It's uh, without the engine. Uh, 1,805 kilos. What is surprising is all uh, your boats are constructed into aluminium. We'll yeah, discover some points of finishing. What is the main advantage of aluminium in comparison to, to uh, fiberglass? Uh, I think it's uh, more, you don't have to be afraid on when you're driving this boat or when you uh, uh, go into the harbor. Uh, and of course, it's uh, uh, it's uh, easy to to uh, uh, wash it and everything like that. Um, uh, it's uh, a really good material we are working with with this aluminium. So, uh, Michael, we go aboard. Yeah, of course. You're welcome. So, wow, uh, um, an impression of volume and very lot of space in this forward cockpit. Yeah, it is, uh, and. Did you see that when we walk on, bo uh, on, on board on this boat, how steady it was? You know, we are two persons. Uh, we are a little bit heavy, at least at I am. And uh, it was easy to go on, bo on board and you don't see that it's almost uh, moving at all. Uh, and you see that it's a big, 
uh, platform to go on, uh, and that's very important in, in, in the Nordic countries. Uh, Some uh, very securing balcony, yeah. storage, full aluminium, and, and fender storage. Wow, what a good idea it is. It is, it is. Uh, easy to put the fender right here. Uh, and then we even, even have this uh, uh, here, hatch here. You see? Uh, it's uh, really nice. It's very um, big. And uh, yeah, I just put it like this. And if we have a step here and we have a step here. So it's good, easy to, to change boat. Uh, or, or to to go abroad from the side. From the side, of course, it is, and they even have a handle right here, was uh, really uh, heavy. What is a, a, a characteristic main feature of the boat? Is a central uh, way to 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 go from the stern to the bow. We will uh, discover under uh, this cabin with a. We, we can open this door, uh, and we even have this door. Uh, what we have done with this part is to open up, and so it gets easier to go through the boat, uh, from the, f the, 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 the beginning of the boat and to the actor of the boat. Uh, and you could stand all the way up. You don't have wow. To. You know, you can turn around. Look at me now. I am 185. We, we don't listen to you. You have to be close to the mic. Okay. So I continue. So uh, if you if you uh, look at me, uh, you turn around and look at me. You see the door. I am 185, and I don't have to put down my head. It's very easy to go through the bolt. You see that? Yeah. Really, really impressive. Two ten in the, in the uh, this this boat is two ten. Uh, so even if you are pretty big. It's no problem to go around this boat. First of all, we are aboard a, a sporty adventure boat, family boat. What is surprising is the piloting station. It looks like in a car. It is. Uh, and if you look at this one now, we have this uh, charger for, for the telephone, for the mobile. And just this position. This is... Uh, I'm going to sit down if it's okay for you. Uh, is exactly like a car. You have a wide uh, uh, porch there where you could have one GPS there, but you even can have another GPS here if you want to. Wh what, uh, what about performances? What? Performances. Performance uh, with this 300, it's going 45 knots. 45 knots? That's true, 45 knots. So a pretty fast boat. And uh, uh, it's very easy to drive. So uh, you can drive 45 knots and turn the, the uh, steering wheel and you're going to follow, the boat just going to follow. It's very easy to drive this boat. Easy to drive. You have a zip wake for automatic trim. And, uh, yeah, that's true. and you have all the switch centralized on the dashboard. It's really practical. It's uh, ergonomy like in a car. I like, I like that very much. For passenger, you have the same comfort facing the sea. Gloves boat. Ah. Big storage. A very good visibility and very nice finishing. Uh, it's adventure boat, it's commuter, but we can overnight for one day, for example. Yeah, we could. We could overnight for one day. And the wide of uh, the bed, it's uh, uh, 147. And this wide, uh, how, how do you say that? Uh, uh, it's 210, 210. So it's uh, it's like a king size uh, bed, like a king size bed. It's possible to transport a canoe or a, yeah, a paddle, a bicycle and a, a canoe and, and bicycle and everything that on the on the roof. On the roof of the 
the boat. Yeah. We, we, we talk a lot about when you talk about Okelbo is lifestyle. This is an uh, adventure boat. Adventure boat. We will now go outside and discover the stern cockpit. Very small stern cockpit. We are about a, uh, aboard a commuter. Yeah, it is. Uh, but it's still, you could sit here for, for like four people. And in extra, if you want to, you even can have a table outside here. And the table uh, is going up from here and up like this. Uh, then you have this for a fender, that one, and that one is for a fender. So Michael, uh, the Carl Sand Boat Show is the first uh, opportunity for boat owners to discover this new model. How oh, is she received since uh, yesterday? Uh, it's very, very good. It was uh, very interesting for, for the people who are going around here. And we have sold out. So uh, next time we could get a boat like this is about uh, four months. Four months? Four months is the next one we could uh, deliver. Wow. Uh, how many boats uh, do you uh, aim to deliver next year? Uh, probably uh, something like uh, 50 or 60 B25. And B25, uh, B21, it's uh, about uh, 70. An idea of the price? Well, this boat right now is uh, about uh, 1.4 1.4 million crowns. Yeah. Around in Euro? Uh, 1.400 thousand. So, thank you very much, uh, Michael, for this private walkthrough. Thank you. Nice to meet you again. So, I will conclude, conclude this private walkthrough with a global view of the piloting station of this Ogalbu B25 cabin. See you soon on Boscopy.